In this video, we're going to talk about Hell's new ruler, the devil you don't know. And trust me, by the end of this issue, you will not see it coming because there's a whole lot to be left on the table and there's a whole lot that I know Todd McFarlane and Image Comics got to get into as we continue into Spawn's further issues. This is a comic book review of Spawn issue number 350. Who's going to take the damn throne? Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Previously in Spawn, Spawn has arrived and the final battle for the fate of the throne has begun. Who will take the throne and become the new monarch of hell? So now, the Infernal Keep. Since the dawn of time, the throne of hell has been one of the most powerful objects in the universe. In order to claim it, to wield its extraordinary power, one must either be a creature of hell or one who's been marked by it. Across the realm, many wait to see who will emerge as Hell's new ruler. Amongst them is Wanda Fitzgerald, Spawn's former wife. After escaping from heaven, she traveled to Hell, hoping to help Spawn on his path to the Infernal Keep. Her role fulfilled, she watches from the sidelines now, hoping she's done enough to turn the tide. And every second she remains in Hell causes her excruciating pain, but she knows leaving would be pointless because if Spawn fails his mission, then nowhere in creation will be safe to exist. She, Spawn, Monolith, and Gang are going in, and she spawns like, we have to find Sin. We need eyes on him now. The rest of this is just a distraction. And Redeemer's like, yo, man, they're inside the keep already, Jessica. I did a sweep. There's no sign of Spawn or Clown anywhere, so they gotta be inside. Then we need to move, says she, Spawn. Redeemer, gather whoever you can. But before she can finish that, yo, this huge necroplasmic blast just takes off and goes off from the distance and they know at least they have a really strong indication that they might be too late someone has claimed the throne already but before we get to that answer 10 minutes earlier sin has breached the inner wall as he closes in on his cherished prized possession that he intends on taking hell's throne well you know everyone comes in to try to get in his way but sin easily disposes of them get out my way you know i'm hungry for that throne we hungry like that Sin encounters Clown and he's pissed. He's like, of course you're here. You've always deluded yourself that you could do more than you were capable of. I'm surprised you cut up so soon, says Sin. Then blame yourself, says Clown. You see, while you and Cataclysm were having your little squabbling, I did something that none of Hell's rulers have ever done before. I beat in Hell and that throne is mine. Millennia ago, when mankind was still young, Clown made a promise to Sin that as long as he lived, no Hellspawn will ever sit upon Hellstone, including Sin. So while they're duking it out, the hatred between these two is really unique. They hate each other with a passion, maybe beyond that. It's outlived entire civilizations. But today, at long last, kinda like when the head cheerleader says yes to you on a prom date, well, their feud is finally about to go down and Clown goes up and just turns into this monstrosity. He wants some action. He's looking for that smoke. So as he collides his fist to the ground, that temporarily knocks Sin off balance. Clown is like, how sad. After all that work and all your efforts, only to fail at the final step. High above them, unnoticed by either villain, a silent observer is part of this fray. This rotting skull of Malboja, their former master, still watches over their rivalry as he did for thousands of years. He would find a delight to see the chaos between the two and the destruction that they're causing, all in the name of the throne. They go down, Sin goes in, Clown is attacking, yo man, everything is just going down like that. And then all of a sudden, Sin gets blasted from the back. Why you gotta go from the back like that? Do it from the front. But you know what? In the name of the game, to get the hell's throne ain't no rules just action boss spawn uses a weapon wielded that was forged deep in heaven celestial's furnace the product of countless experimentations on captured soldiers from hell designed specifically to eliminate a necropasm powered hell spawn with a single lethal shot the only problem for spawn is is that sin has the power of an army of hell spawns coursing through him and sin gets up all pissed like yo was that a tickle was that it simmons you have all this time to prepare and that was the best you can do i'll give you credit for getting this far but you'll have to do better than that if you plan on walking out of here and spawns like you're the one that won't be leaving bro let's do this dance before sin left camp this morning one of his lieutenants foolishly remarked that destiny had brought them to this moment for these three behemoths destiny has nothing to do with it though they have brought themselves to this point, each obsessed with achieving their ultimate goal to stop their enemies power grab by acquiring hell's ultimate pinnacle, the throne. Now you just got to enjoy that artwork because you know what? 
<laughs> it's just a lot of action this issue so having dragged themselves across the wastelands of hell over the corpses of their enemies reducing their existence to this one single goal to get the hell throne and clown scratches sin's face you sin you are never getting to that throne not you or any other damn human and sin blasts his clown and his blast is so powerful that clown is like yo man that was a that was too damn much of a blast man i gotta stay down for a minute and sin's like there's a reason you never ruled hell clown you're trapped in the past a human will sit upon that throne either myself or simmons but under no circumstance will i allow it to be you you aren't built to handle its power. That's a reason your master never put the symbiote on one of his own. He knew a hellborn was incapable of being a master or how to go beyond that. You see? And he puts his hand on his head. I'm a god now. And he rips his head off like a sub-zero fatality. And Spawn's like, oh, hell no. That ain't about to be me right now. Stay down, Simmons. There's no need to die today. Spawn chain goes off and it snaps. And Sin's like, all right, very well then. So he puts him to the ground and he wants to put him out of his misery. He tackles him like Ray Lewis, like an NFL line biker. He knocks him out like Mike Tyson is prime, knocking out them other brothers. But Spawn tries to fight back. And Sin's like, all right, bro, you trying to clap back? We'll see these hands and see that brick pillar too and while spawn is down sin goes up to him and is like this was always going to be the outcome simmons you must have known that you can't beat me you can only make me stronger and sin attempts to suck spawns necroplasmic power for himself to make sin strong because that's how sin became so damn strong but out of nowhere this blast emerges all sin can do is just watch in horror and he's like hail to the knob but we don't know who it is yet so five minutes ago before all that happened a voice off panel tells spawn you can't do this i don't care what i have to do you can't take the throne i know that's why i'm here says spawn it's you you're the one who needs to take it i don't want it says a voice off panel now this is a devil you didn't know it doesn't matter what we want anymore in the next few minutes someone's taking it unless you step up it can't be any of the rest of us and whoever sits on it their powers multiply i can't be trusted with that kind of power so we have a flashback between between Spawn and Wanda and Wanda tells Al you can't take the throne it'll turn you into something you don't want to become it corrupts everything there has to be someone else and this is where we bring it back to Spawn it needs to be you says Spawn you understand this world more than any of the others and you have the best chance of resisting the throne's influence Al even if I wanted to I can't I'm not from hell oh but you can says Al and you want to know why? Because anyone marked by hell can take it. And that is you, Nyx. And the reason why is Nyx was the original she spawn. And she was marked by being a spawn. The first she spawn, that is. And the thing about Nyx and spawn, at least for me reading from issues 300 to now, Nyx and spawn have a complicated relationship. See, in Spawn issue 300 or 301, Nyx was axed and killed by Cogliostro. Spawn didn't bother to investigate that, so when Nyx came back to life, she questioned Spawn about that. And on top of that, Spawn was locking up all the dead zones. That way, heaven and hell could not transport in between. So Nyx was like, why are you doing this? It caused a tension between her, and this is not putting an end to your war, it's actually making it worse. So what Nyx did along with Jim Downing is break into Spawn's mind, and that was back in Spawn issue number 335, to hack the the dead zones and open them up and this is where we lead over many issues back to this so even though spawn wanted nix to take it over their relationship is complicated that's all i got to say so spawn looks and he kind of regrets this or he's feeling very sorry about it and he tells nix and for what it's worth i'm sorry for all of this how did it come to this for a moment nix considers leaving because she doesn't know if she can make that kind of sacrifice so we go back to now, but in the end, she did. This war is over. Hell is under my control now. And we see a newly improved and way more powerful Nyx. And she looks at Sin, and you have much to answer for, mofo. You dare? Sin's like, hell no, not to you. I wiped the floor with you before. I wiped my ass with you before, and I'm wiping it again. Hell no. Nah. But Nyx is like, oh, hell yeah, baby. Take all that necklace we'll pass into the head, because it's going to put you to bones on your feet simmons it should have never came to this and simmons like oh crap what do we do now we could have worked together says nix could have found another solution but no one tells the great spawn what to do right except it's the rest of us who must bear the cost of your pride spawn of your arrogance of your mistakes when did you become like them i don't know why it happened but somewhere along the line you lost your way you need to change that soon and because I can see far beyond all of this now, 
and you have no idea what's coming for you. So everyone starts to vanish up out of hell. And before Spawn can vanish, Nyx tells him, now leave out of my sight. You're no longer welcome in hell. Not anymore. Nyx, wait, if I made a mistake, we can... She snaps her fingers, goodbye Al, and he vanishes out of there too. Off panel, a voice says, bravo my majesty, our queen of hell. If I may, I'm Alstafont, chief custodian of the infernal keep. Allow me to be the first of many to congratulate you on your accession. Spare me your groveling, says Nyx. Instead, bring me a list of potential candidates for a new advisory council. He's like, whoa, 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 is that wise, your highness? This war split the loyalties of many factions. I won't repeat myself, says Nyx. As you will, my queen. It's all good, bruh. Don't worry about it. Good, says Nyx, because everything is about to change on earth as she sits on the throne of hell beckoning and ready to flex don't be trying me like i'm some kind of sample right so we get this epilogue back on earth seeds are being planted from hell and heaven and all of them equally confused as to why they're all confused they're not in heaven they're not in hell they're kicked out of there but what are they doing back here once again, the devil you don't know. So Spawn gets vanished right back. He's zapped over there. And the first words that come out of his mouth is Wanda. He wants his Wanda. What have I done? Says Al. And she spawns like, if you're here after everything, does that mean we've lost? I don't know. I don't think we'll know that for a while, says Spawn. I let Nyx take the throne. Nyx? Says she Spawn. She's part of the green world. You remember that? I mean, they don't really side with heaven. They don't side it with hell. They do their own thing. I'll let her explain, says Spawn. When you left hell, did you see anyone else vanishing? I mean, yeah, there were a lot of us, but I don't know where they went. Why do you ask that question? And Spawn's like, Wanda was with me in hell. Her soul was sent there by heaven, but I could see something was happening to her. I think it was happening to all of us. So behind them, they hear a sharp hiss and the labored breathing of creatures trying to adjust to Earth's oxygen. So Spawn reacts instinctively, trying to blast some necroplasm, but guess what? Nothing happens. His powers appear to be gone. Why? He's nowhere near a dead zone. But before he can find out that answer, well, he gets clapped and the first blow lands on him. But soon he realizes the impact of his enemy's blows aren't as severe either, meaning his opponents seem to also have lost their power, and that changes everything. So he claps back with his chains and spawns like something's wrong. Check your powers. Do they work? She spawns like, no, they don't, but they'll deal with that later. There's still two creatures standing in their way and they go in, they do the teamwork, dream work kind of thing and they lay them hands on them. Okay, so she spawns like, what the heck is going on? Our costumes are acting like we're inside of a dead zone, but we're not even close to one. And Spawn's like, I had my powers in hell. I assume you did too, but ever since we've been transported, what the heck is going on? And she spawns like, if this is true, we need to find out if this is widespread. Redeemer, are you there? And Redeemer checks in. He's like, I'm here with Monolith. We're at the Himalayas. They materialized there a few minutes ago, but something strange is happening with them too. They too don't have their powers. And she spawns like, is Nyx doing something to us? And Spawn's like, we don't know her intent yet. We'll need more info. And the dead monster from hell's like, <laughs> you don't have a clue what's happening to you do you the dead zones did you think this wouldn't happen did you think it would have come to this that there'll be no consequences to all your interference you locked us out spawn for so long that ruined everything letting heaven and clown ran their armies through them and allowed a hunt inside and what they mean by that is haunt is not a creature of heaven and not a creature of hell but when he transports into the dead zones it just creates some kind of off-putting energy level frequency that just throws everything out of whack You've broken them, every damn dead zone. And now that someone sits on the throne, everyone's gonna pay for what you did, including you, Spawn. And all Spawn and Jessica Priest can do is just look in horror. The green world has taken over because while you disappeared into hell, the dead zones have been expanding and expanding. And now they've grown large enough to cover your entire planet. So every hell Spawn that has powers before, they ain't got no powers. And now Earth will pay the price for hell's new queen and as you see right here spawn's power meter is down to number one before it was higher than that a lot higher but hey also are we going back to referencing spawn issue number one or issue number five when malboja tells spawn if you deplete your powers that's a second death for you yo that is pretty heavy right there but that is the end of spawn issue number 350 
Hell's new ruler, and the devil you didn't know. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry, because this issue, issue 350, tells a story of who takes a new throne of hell ever since Spawn issue number 100 when Spawn decapitated Malboja's head and the throne of hell has been vacant. I think this issue is worth adding to your comic book collection just simply because of that, because that is a major plot point right there. Lastly, this video is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.